This book was probably the closest thing to a document of my thoughts that existed. I'd never kept a journal or a diary, nor did I bother keeping a blog despite the amount of time I spent browsing the internet. All I had was this, an outdated scrapbook that gave a tiny peek into my elementary age mind. Cover was a gradient sky transitioning from dark purple to shades of cherry reds to sky blue. It was a beautiful illustration of dusk or dawn. In my many years of gazing at the sky in my backyard, I still never decided which this book cover displayed. It seemed like the transition from night to day and day to night would always share its similarities. No matter which it was, the picture was undeniably breathtaking and my grandma had painted it for me. As I ran my hand over the brush strokes and bumps from the scattered star confetti, my memories of her came pouring down like a rainstorm in July. I grew up like a young florist, picking flowers for a bouquet from a garden. I sorted through my most precious moments spent with my grandma and catalogued them in my mind as they happened. Now that a memento of her lay before me, the storage boxes I'd pushed to the rear of my consciousness burst open and all the moments I'd chosen to safe keep in the dark overflowed. Because of this, I was able to pick moments from a vastly diverse garden of memories. What I discovered next was the one thing my five-year-old self needed to separate my delusional beliefs from reality. By then, she had long passed away, but I had been so deep in my denial that my parents never informed me of her death. <laughs>